Appreciate y'all for tuning in. I know you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. And I definitely appreciate that. Today, we're going to do a quick review. Uh, I guess it's a review slash how-to. Pizza. Yeah, yeah. I know everybody loves pizza. Here we go. Going with that great value glass. Oh, I know it's blasphemy to go frozen, but we're going with that frozen great value. Join here. Anywhere from, I guess, three to five dollars. Went with the Supreme. And I'm be honest with you. I like this boy. It's a bad mom, huh? First thing you want to do is arrange it. Because I know they just threw it on her. So you just kind of fix it up a little bit, man. Just make sure everybody get a good bite of everything. Got to have your oven, uh, pre preach your oven. Preach your oven to uh, 400. Sight. Let's step it up a little bit, man. We gonna throw some more cheese and some pepperoni on that thing, man. You wanna throw some more veggies? It's a good time to throw them veggies on there too, man. I like to start with the cheese. Any kind of cheese you gotta work. As long as it's shredded, thick. I prefer the thick shred. Shredded thick. And go as heavy or generous as you prefer. You know your kids, you know your people around you that you're making this for. So do it to taste. You're just stepping up, man. That's how you step up a $3 piece of man. That cheese on that thing. Go with your pepperonis, man. Depending on how much you love pepperonis would determine how much you could put on that thing. And the pepperonis, man, whatever pepperonis you get your hand on, whatever you like, these are the Hormel joints. You can get the pepperonis anywhere from a dollar to four dollars. So, Depending on where you go, you save a buck or two. There go, I always put a little extra cheese on top just to kind of hold that pepperoni down. Just like that, shit. The box say 25 to 28. I usually do about 35 because I add extra. We back at it, man. I'm telling you, man. 30 minutes seem like a long time when you're hungry, but shit, we back. Depending on who you're cooking for, how long you leave your pizza in, man. If you like the shit crispy, you leave the shit in a little longer, man. Don't be rushing it. I like integrity in my crust and dough. I don't like my pizza flopping around everywhere. Add some of this in there. Get you some of this in there. That's cilantro blast. Get you some of that in there. Hot sauce. Put a little hot sauce in there. And of course, the best ingredient of all, ranch dressing. That crust, man, when that crust right, it's gonna give you that good crisp, man. Ain't no denying it when that crust is right. Ain't no denying it. My mouth watering like a motherfucker. <laughs> My mouth watering, man. We go right there, man, and then. Look, if you cook the pizza long enough, 
your toppings ain't gonna be sliding over the, all over the place. So take your time, man. Don't rush the pieces. Look at that. The ingredients ain't falling all over the place. Now, pair that with your favorite beverage and you own or something. Oh, sweet!